Most electric skateboards on the market today use either hub motors or belt drive motors. There are significant pros and cons to each type. If you want to be as discreet as possible, hub motors might be more suitable for you. The hub motors are hidden inside the wheels, and most of the time, they're quieter than belt drive motors. Hub motors also require less maintenance than belt drive, usually. If a hub motor fails, normally you just replace that motor. If you go off-roading on an all-terrain board, hub motors are far less likely to get clogged by sand or other debris compared to belt drive motors. Most hub motor wheels use a really thin layer of urethane compared to normal longboard wheels, making them less comfortable and less grippy. Some hub motor boards give you two or three options for wheel sizes, but they can't compare with the variety you get from using belt drive. If you care about having wheel options, then hub motors are not for you. With belt drive motors, you can use any third-party longboard wheels that are compatible with your board's supplied wheel pulleys. This means you have way more options for wheel size, durometer, color, etc. You can also change the gear ratio using either supplied pulleys or third-party pulleys. This affects things like torque, range, and top speed. Compared to hub motor wheels of the same size, belt drive wheels, which are actual longboard wheels, are much more comfortable as they have way more urethane. Because the belts are partially exposed, tiny rocks can get into the drive system and damage the belt or pulley. Even if nothing gets in, chances are a belt is going to tear sooner or later. That's why belt drive boards normally come with spare belts. While not all belt drive systems are loud, they're generally louder than hub motors, and the outrunner motors are a dead giveaway that the board is electric. This can be costly for people who live in places that don't allow electric skateboards on roads. Despite requiring more maintenance and not being nearly as discreet as hub motors, I highly prefer belt drive over hub motors. They're just way more comfortable and I like being able to change wheels for different situations. But I also understand the need to be low key, especially since the city I live in doesn't allow skateboarding of any kind on roads. And when I ride in parks, I definitely get kicked out more when using belt drive. If only there were a drive system that offers the benefits of both hub motors and belt drive. This video is sponsored by Defective. Get your Geek One merch and e-skate inspired apparel and stickers at Defective.com. Defective, not defective. That's D-F-F-E-C-T-I-V-E dot -E com. Direct Drive Motor is what the e-skate industry calls a motor that has a wheel attached to it without gears. It has the hub motor's benefit of being quiet and the belt drive motor's benefit of using actual wheels. This solves everything, or does it? If you want versatility, belt drive still has the advantage because you can change gear ratios. For example, in the two-in-one boards, when you switch from street wheels to all-terrain wheels, you don't change only the wheels, you also change the gears. If you were to change to all-terrain wheels without changing the gears, you would notice a steep reduction in acceleration, brake strength, and range. But if you don't plan on making significant changes to your wheel size, direct drive motors may have the advantages that you want. So then, why do the biggest e-skate brands that use hub motors still use hub motors instead of direct drive? At this time, I haven't personally tried a board that uses direct drive, so I asked others who are more experienced. I talked to three different e-skate manufacturers and three individuals who make DIY boards. All of them, except for one manufacturer, pointed out various reliability issues with direct drive. Motors hitting the ground, magnets falling off, axles snapping, it sounded pretty horrible. The one manufacturer that disagreed, of course, uses direct drive in their boards. According to them, their direct drive boards did have those issues in the past, but they claim that those issues have been resolved since September 2019, about half a year ago. So let's quickly go through the pros and cons of direct drive. Boards that use direct drive motors can use real longboard wheels, so they are more comfortable than hub motors and give you way more options. They are quiet like hub motors, and although the motors are not completely hidden, they are more discreet than belt drive motors. Direct drive motors have not been around for as long as belt drive and hub motors, and far fewer people have used them, so their reliability may be questionable. And although you can change the wheels, you cannot change the gear ratio, 